Episode wow. one, baby! <laughs> <laughs> So, mate, I, I genuinely can't believe we're finally doing this. I know, a podcast. An actual podcast. To be honest, it's um, hard to think because it's sweltering in it. I mean, yeah, we are in a shed, a uh, very small shed in the uh, farthest reaches of Yorkshire. I think I'm really red. Um, I don't know, it, uh, something will pick it up. I feel up really red. You feel red? You don't look red. You know what, we'll make it red. Some beverageinos. What then? To um, Boys Cry 2. Boys, Boys Cry 2. Chink Chink. Cheers. Ah, delicioso. I needed that. I had yeah. um, dust all in my throat. <laughs> it's because we're in a shed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we are, though. We're just sat in essentially what is my garden shed. But, you know, the, this is the reality. Like, we've been speaking for so long. About getting something off the ground, you know, cr- something creative off the ground, an outlet for it. And like, this just feels perfect. It really does. It's, we've been crying out for a creative outlet between us and this is it. I feel like we've done pretty well. Yeah. Episode one. Pretty vibes. I mean, it looks all right. It looks all right. Um, does it look professional? I mean, no one knows who we are. Oh, I don't think anyone's going to watch, watch. Please watch this. <laughs> So I mean, yeah, we've we've come up with a a little a little game. We didn't come up with it. That's taking credit for something I didn't do. Uh, but we thought we'd play a little a little game of twenty one questions. This is uh, uh, to get to know us exactly. You know, who am I? Who is Dan? Um, and that's what it's going to be, really, buddy. It might be twenty one questions. It might not. It might be thirteen. Exactly. Yeah, it might be might be four. Could be seventy two. We'll be here for a while. We will be here for a while. <laughs> uh, Are you going to kick us off, Dan? Come on. I'm going to kick you off. I'm just going to give a little a little breakdown on how it will work. So, well, I mean, I've come up with 21 questions. Um, so, split into three categories. The fundamentals, you know, little flavor about who you are just as a person. Then the dark side, you know, that... That side of everyone that you like to keep tucked away, um, but it really gives a flavour of who the man is. I, I hope, I hope I got the memo and got this right. I don't think you did. Uh, okay. You rarely do. Okay. Yes, it always happens. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a bit thick. I, I'll go in there and say it. I'm a bit thick. Um, not the sharpest tool in the box. Um, you will get to know that people who are listening. Um. So now, so, so now we're saying I'm thick in the comments. It's a bit ridiculous, really. We and know it's going to be 2023. We know it's going to And I'm easily offended. Mm. On that note. <laughs> and the third category is a friendship test to see where we really, really stand with each other. Um, yeah, you're going to need a little bit more of that, mate. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get things up, kicked off with the, uh, the fundamentals. Shoot from your hip, your new hip. And at any time, you know, feel free to elaborate on anything, ask for clarity. Oh well. Shoot me down. And we just just as a prior warning, we did agree that we won't ask anything that's gonna get us cancelled. And we also won't ask anything that's gonna give us heat at home. Yeah, because who wants heat? Especially off the missus. No grief from the missus. Um so yeah, question one, easy one. Favourite film? Um, Django and Chain. Not for that reason. Ooh. Money or fame? <sighs> Money. Money. Mm. Why so? Because, like, uh, most people want to be famous for the money. Like, I don't care. If, it, if I've got all the money, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. In my big cabin, in the middle of the woods, with my family, millions of cats. All that tiny shed in uh, South Yorkshire. Yeah, I like it. Oh, it's good. It's, really good. it's underrated. Place to be in Doncaster. Yeah. I mean, it is at the moment. There isn't much elsewhere to go. Um, I'm joking. It's no, a nice place. It's not. There's a lot of heroin in Doncaster. Crack. 
I hope that that's not from experience. No, absolutely not. Never done that one. Good. <laughs> I think you love the most. Oh, that's my kids, my family, my wife. I think you hate the most. Um, kangaroos. Okay. <laughs> Gonna need to elaborate on that one. <laughs> but mate, they're f-ing petrified. Right, and I know I know a lot of people might laugh. You might laugh about that, but when you see the big ones, Google kangaroos, the eight foot ones, like to stand up like this, jacked, right. Hiding in alleyways. I've seen them in Australia. In alleyways. Yeah. Walking home from work. Right, I think the the vital part of that is in Australia. Yeah. Where are we? Yeah, I get I get what you're saying. But you still go to the zoo. I mean not that tank. Not full of steroids. That no, zoo. Right. That zoo full of alleyways. Yeah, but think. Yeah. You, you just got from your day job. You got off the bus. You now you don't drive. It's just more likely to happen know. if you don't drive. So you're walking in the alleyway. Oh, what's going on? Got got the MP3 player in. Right? He's like, Oi! Give us your phone. I don't know. He's a brummy kangaroo. <laughs> Good eye, mate. Give us your fucking purse, you d- <laughs> Make them massive. Google it. They are big. Um... But I, I, I'd, I'd take my chances against one. Well, you, you have eat steroids for breakfast. Do I? Yeah, you've, you've literally doubled the I size. mean, I wish I wish I did. I wish I did. I, I don't think it's a bad thing. You know? Hmm. Performing enhancing drugs. I'm not saying I support it fully. Didn't say that. So saying like, if, you know, put a needle in your bum. Bit of help. Give me a bit of help. Hmm. Give, give me a jizzat. Give it. Swiftly moving on. Biggest regret. Oh. It's a tough one. It's one to think about. There was an opportunity to wrestle in America and I could have wrestled AJ Styles and the Young Bucks. Um, but it was a tournament. So I didn't know I was going to progress in the tournament until my teammates who went Actually wrestled in the final against that. If anyone who does much pro wrestling, quite big names now. So yeah, that's a big regret. Mm. Um, yeah, and a lot of other stuff that I can't say on the air. <laughs> 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 and just to elaborate further on that, obviously MK used to be a pro wrestler here in the UK and in other places. Um, but yeah, big names. No, I pretty shit that is mate yeah well it's life isn't it like the universal survey what you're meant to do mm. day. and now we're sat here on this podcast so exactly so this is our journey now so we'll see how well this does very well I hope what's your most toxic trait <clears throat> um again it's one to one to think about I'm sweating because right. it's because it's such an intense question. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we can't even have a fan in here because of cameras. Mm. Um, oh, biggest toxic trait. Maybe someone's told you it. Maybe it's one that you acknowledge yourself. Um, Jesus. <sighs> I'm going to have to say, I always think about myself um, in the sense of my needs. Like, if I if I want to watch a certain film, um, that's, that's shit. Um, I can't explain it. Um, this is not really gripping content. Uh, <laughs> <He's> struggling. <laughs> I, I suppose I could just be selfish sometimes. You think you can be a bit selfish? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. I can't elaborate. If I can come back to it, I'll come back to it. But 
No, it's all good, mate. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. So I mean, sorry for that. Uh, you took a lot of time end. to answer that question, so I think that's it's pretty selfish. Uh, <laughs> last one on the fundamentals. When was the last time you cried? Um, two days ago. Hmm. What was that about? Um, so I was cleaning my tortoise out, and I was scooping soil into a black bag. Um. A lot of soil. I must say, like eight to ten kilograms soil. I went to pick the bag up, split all over my living room. I knew that was coming. Hmm. Split up my living room. So I got another bag, a dustpan and brush, sweeping it up, mm. put it into the next bag, picked it up, split it. No, it didn't. Hmm. Did it the third this is time. This a sketch. This is a sketch. Did it the third time. It split again. No, it didn't. Right, I think right before you go on, I think you need to um, evaluate where you're getting your f-ing bags from. Mm, Poundland, of course. So the wife comes down. She saw that I'm annoyed, and I've dragged the the wheelie bin in into the house. <laughs> <laughs> the black one, not even the garden bin. So she, rightfully, she's annoyed. Mm. Right, and I'm already had a meltdown. Right, so I'm scooping all this soil. She's like, what? Why are you putting that in the bin? Why are you putting that in that bin? And I'm like, because I can't put it anywhere else. <laughs> She's lost it. She's poured gasoline on it. I've got even more mad. Raise my voice. And then, yeah, I've had to go to my job. And then I just overly stressed myself out and cried over that situation. You know what they say, mate? Don't cry over spilt soil. <laughs> that advice is free. <laughs> Go on, move on. No, it's a, yeah, so it was a more of a cry out of frustration rather than. Yeah, it's frustrating. Yeah. Um, that happens a lot. Um, I suppose, I don't want to say I'm weak minded in that sense, but it, it doesn't take a lot for me to get stressed out. Mm. And if it's one little thing, it's a domino effect. Yeah. Or the one little thing, noise gets to me. And yeah, things just escalate and escalate. And I just have a meltdown. And I wear my heart on my sleeve and I cry. Um over small things, but you know, I suppose we're all different in that sense. No, I mean it's healthy. You know, you're not bottling things up, you're not keeping things in, you're letting your emotions out. I mean I don't I have no idea how you would have reacted if you didn't let it out in that in that instance, you know, yeah. poor turtle. Yeah, no, some people might just laugh at you mm. of this bloody soil. Yeah. But I like, I am a bit of a hothead. Yeah. I am a bit of a stressed. The dark side. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. This is where you get me cancelled. So, yeah, if there was ever a time that you needed a fan, this is probably it. Um, so, yeah, first one. Puss or ass. <laughs> <laughs> What? It's the it's the meaty stuff, mate. It's the yeah. What a question! Really get to know the man. Mm. Mm. It says a lot about someone's character. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. Move on. <laughs> Puss or ass? <laughs> My God. Go. Are oh, you want me to go? You answer on the question. I did, I said puss. Oh, you did? Mid laughter. Oh. Puss. That was clear. It was clear for me and the listeners. <laughs> it's these. <laughs> like, for anyone who's podcasted before and you get that, like, one second delay in your headphones, it's quite jarring. That's why um, some of my words keep slurring. Mm. But, like, I think... It's I'll... a champagne. It's a champagne. It's a champagne. Two sips. Empty stomachs. Um... I've, got kids in... I've got kids now. I don't go out, so I'm not used to it. So... Okay. Okay, no, no. I'm, I'm just... I'm... Sweating. Has anyone got a claw? No. Nope. Is anyone? It's like he's talking to the boys in the back. Um, <laughs> can, can Has anyone got a, a towel bag there for, <laughs> for MK? No. All right. You're a runner. Can you send me... Yeah, you. You can get me some for my... And a mm-hmm. coffee. Good lad. There's no one there. It's just us. 
<laughs> Would you rather get pissed on or shit on? Oh, pissed on. You'd rather get pissed yeah. on? Why? No, the smell, mate. Is that just the... The smell. So if, if shit smell at roses... I guess shit on there. It's mm-hmm. solid for the smell. It's just purely the smell. It's the thing as well, like... Anyone doesn't mind their own shit because we're used to it. Mm. But when you smell someone else's shit, they'll be like, oh, shit, you knew. Can't drop names, mate. You'll bleep that then in post. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clanger. <laughs> we'll bleep it out. Don't worry about it. I don't care anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's just the smell. Just a smell. Just a smell. So you, so if it smelled like roses, like the, I guess the feeling of a nice warm log on your chest is quite enticing. Is it? No. I mean, none of it's desirable. <laughs> <laughs> Not to shame. I mean, you know, some people are into it. Well, yeah, especially the um, piss side of it. Mm. I imagine it's quite warm, mm. soothing. Mm-hmm. I'm never going to try it. Never say never. It's a fight to the death. Okay. Would you rather be taking on 20 Cocker Spaniels, <laughs> so 20 Little Daisies, or one XL Bully? Fight to the death. To the death. Yeah, everyone must die. Obviously, apart from the winner. How many Collies? 20 Cocker Spaniels. So 20 Daisies, you know. I don't know. One XL Bully? You'd rather take on the XL Bully? They just gonna have a bit of pride then. What's the strategy? I want to know. Go for the eyes. Go for the eyes. Thumb in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Bite you there. Samoan spike up the arsehole. <laughs> Is the cocker spaniels seeming a little bit too too chaotic? I feel like they'd lick it to death. Mm. Ooh, my ears are all floppy. Yeah, you're not gonna want to do anything to them, are you? I mean, no, they're too cute. Yeah, kill me then. <laughs> You're too cute. I'm not gonna hit you. Hey, we're gonna get off. Oh, come here. No, look at it. All right. Now this one does say a lot about the man. What's your number one fetish? Now there might be a lot of them, so it might take no, some time. No, see, but... I've always thought about this. Hmm. I haven't got one. You know. No, nah, I'm quite. Quite vanilla. God, it's um, who's gonna watch this? Um, <laughs> bit, bit, bit choking. Bit choking. Yeah. Yeah. Slightly all pre-murder. <laughs> Just a bit of choking. Don't put me on a list. Murder. Murder. But is that on you or is that on them? Oh. Um. Like to be choked? You'd have to film consent to get away with it. I was told to do it. She didn't tell me to stop. Okay, we're going to move on from this one now. No, 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 no. Stop there. Right. <laughs> What's your fetish? It's not a questions for me. Nah, that's not fair. That's literally the game. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, ain't, I ain't scared. I'll, I'll, I'll answer it. If it comes round to my questions, well, then if this comes up now, I know that you've switched one of yours out. Okay. So. See, I'll kind of f***ed up here. Like, why? Um, you doing the questions first. Well, you know, you should have come up with a segment. Ooh. All right, he's got none. He's got none. You f***ing boring. Choking, I said. Doodle. If you had, well, now I know the f***ing answer to this one. Oh, go on. If you had to, how would you kill someone? <laughs> Seriously, um, you gotta think deep about it. There's a lot. There's a lot that, that I imagine goes into it. Is it an act of vengeance? You can make a story up if you want to justify the atrocious accent actions that you're about to carry out. Okay, if someone hurt my family mm-hmm. severely, a murder, mm-hmm. I'd cut each limb off with a chainsaw. But doing it 
cut a leg off, watch him scream. But then I'd have a blowtorch, blowtorch the wound, so it cauterizes it, so it they stay alive. Right. I'd let him pass out, and I'd wake him up with cold water, did the leg again, the other leg. Same again, cauterize it, blowtorch. <laughs> ah! Full sleep. Wake him up again. And we're going to keep going and going and going. Yeah, legs, arms, neck, dead. <laughs> you know, I said that these these questions do say a lot about someone. I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> Thing you forgot to mention, mate, is that you uh, you didn't choke them. Is that last? Is that the last act of <laughs> like a victory? What's your f***ing them? <laughs> Oh my god. Moving on. Can I ask you that question? What? Can I ask you that question? You're going to ask me that question? Can I ask you that question? I mean, if you want to answer, ask it when your questions come around, then. Fair enough. Okay. Like, I know this is getting to know us, but um, we're not mental. Just no, a disclaimer. Very. Yeah, we're not mental. No. And I still need a cloth. Darren! Darren! There's no one there. Still no one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two left in the dark side. Brace yourself. Would you rather get f***ed by a horse? Or would you rather watch your partner get f***ed by a horse? Come again. Okay. Would you rather get f***ed by a horse... Or would you rather watch your partner get f***ed by a horse? Mm. I think I'd have to get <laughs> Because I see a horse to that. I can never go so back. Going back. You can never live up to that. <laughs> <laughs> How many STIs or STDs have you had? None. None. I had one scare once. Scare. Scare. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Bit of a itchy piece. Very safe. It keeps it wrapped. Yeah. Okay. But I am married now. Doesn't matter. Now. Mm -hmm. But I have one scare. One scare. Okay. So the friendship test. Yeah. This really does like, you know, it, I mean, it tells me where I stand with you. Right. Um, and I feel like they are very important questions. So number one. Would you suck a fat one to save my life? Because <sighs> I've got to. Hmm. Yeah. Is that the attitude you're going to go in with? I suppose I've got to. I'm sorry, but if you're not that way inclined... She's gone, mate, my it's, you're not meant to enjoy You've it. heard me brush my teeth. <laughs> Imagine my slide. <laughs> With a d Yeah, if 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 in your yeah, if you ask me what's the, the one thing that I hate you about most about you, it's the how aggressive you have to gag when you brush your teeth. It's like it shouldn't be allowed. It's like some on my chest. <laughs> if that's the way you wanna look at it, that's how I'd be. Like brushing my teeth. Okay, I'll take it. You know. <laughs> half arsed suck of a fat one to save my life. Um, okay. Okay, there's kind of a two part to this. Um, right. So first off, if you don't mind, would you just remove your cap? No. Please? Oh, no, Dad. Just briefly. Briefly. That's bad. No? That's bad. It's part of the question. That's exposing somebody that is. It's part of the question. Question Expose, would have exposed you anyway. floor. This yep. is ridiculous. Just remove it like a crown. Yeah. Like you, it's done. I'm sweating. Okay. Sweating, look at me. Put your cans back on. Cans, professional terms. So now we've seen that. If I had cancer and needed chemo. <laughs> <laughs> would you save your head in, in support? So I needed to shave my head. Would you would you shave your head in support? But 
You just had a hair transplant. Oh, f***. Gemma kill ya. I've got cancer. <clears throat> Not really, but hypothetically speaking. Oh, I've paid two and a half grand in Turkey. I've got cancer. It's terminal. You've got me for four months. So, what, what stage are you talking? I don't know the stage. It's terminal. You got me for four, four. months. Yeah. Doc said, Dan, you've got four months to live. I'd start... I'd start shaving your head now. If you want to give it a go, we've got this pretty aggressive chemo. Um, you know, it might work, but you're going to get bald as a coot. I suppose I've got to then. Again. <laughs> suppose I've got to. <laughs> suppose well, I've got to. I'd do it. Okay. But I'm happy about it. Okay. No, you against you, it's my bank account. I mm-hmm. just paid two and a half grand. Mm-hmm. The hell of a hit. Okay. I've had to save for that money. Yeah. But it's saved your life, so... It's not saving my life. It's just support. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just for show. <sighs> nah, f*** you. F- You're not going to do it. No, it's fine. It's fine. I know where I stand. <laughs> You're dying anyway, man. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of sh- Two and a half grand. <laughs> and you're going to die anyway. Yeah, okay. I get it. You f***ing piece of shit. <laughs> Okay. And now just on the back of that, I just want to say, if any uh, hair transplant companies out there, oh, hair yeah. regrowth companies out there want to wanna sponsor the podcast, oh, yeah. sort this out. Oh, yeah, please. Please. We're all game. We're game. Hopefully this um, goes viral. And people see this because I really need this hair transplant. So then you can shave it off when I've got cancer. (laughs) Moving on. If I murdered someone, would you help me hide the body? Um, Was it an accident? Murdered. Hmm? Murdered. For no reason. Murdered. You just wanted to murder somebody. Mm-hmm. Who did you murder? So I was walking Daisy, um, and then a dog comes running over the road, just let out. Starts like started grabbing her by the neck, um, so I punted it, went flying. Owner comes out, giving it the big in. Did the same to him. So it's not there's not a mess, but so it was it was aggravating. You wanted to hit him, hit him too hard. Hit him too hard. Hit him too hard. You didn't mean to kill him. No. Right, I'm gonna answer this the best way I can. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got to think of my kids. If I get caught, they got no dad. So I love you, man. But you're on your own with this one. That's that's what I wanted to hear. But I think you would, like, in long term, you'd respect my decision. And you'd understand if you had kids. Nope. Piece no. of God, I've really bollocks this. Real, real piece of shit. <laughs> He'd rather save his kid's future and his hair <laughs> over his best friend's freedom and health. He died anyway. The it, hair might, it might have helped. It might have been the one thing that was needed, mate. Um, just manifest it into the universe. If, if I shave my head, you get to kick your life. Mm-hmm. It might have been the push that was needed. I guess. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Ooh. If it turns out that I'm infertile, I don't have kids. You know, I'm oh. planning to one day start a family. So if I'm into infertile, would you be my donor? There are conditions, by the way. Okay. What are the conditions? Uh, you're not know, having intercourse with my partner. Okay. No. Um, it needs to be in a cup. Yeah. You would? Yeah. If it's all right with Jim. No, it's not where I asked. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'd do it. You would? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect that. I respect that. Okay. He's not coming for me, like, like coming to find me for some money. So, 
you will restart. <laughs> if you're if the second my seed goes in that cup, that's the yours. it's done. It's done. Okay. Okay. Well, I hope the he respects me a bit more than you. <laughs> Big farmer have got the cure for cancer. Yeah, go on. But to release it, um, they said that they need my life. But you are the one who's got to make the call. This is dark. What you call? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what? Just yeah. You're a bigger piece of than I ever thought, you know. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Let's take it back. So to save you, no save one me. else can have the cure of cum. Save a million, like, you know. Does anyone know that this was the option? No, you have to live with that decision on your own. I'll save you. You'd save me. Yeah. yeah. Love you, man. Yeah. Sort man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a cure for cancer anyway. So, but big pharma. Well, that's it. That's it. That was the condition. It was all they were waiting for. They were waiting for a strong enough friendship to, uh, um, you know, emerge from the world. And then they just solely wanted to test that friendship to then release it. So, okay. I'm happy with that. Good. What's the thing you hate most about me? Be honest. I'm a big boy. I can take it. I can't say I hate anything about you. Because you strongly dislike. Strongly dislike. Your frugalness at uni used to piss me off. Hmm. It's like, bro. Should I get some food in? Ah, I'm alright, bro. You don't want to spend money? Okay, but I'm a, I'm a like that now. No? Hmm? No, you've, you're very generous. So, no, that's, the, that's literally the only thing. Okay. I think that's pretty fair. What's the thing you love most about me? Your loyalty. My loyalty. As a mate. Mm. What do you mean? Expand. Um, if, I never need advice or um, if I just need advice or someone to talk to, you're there. Um, get mushy now. Mm, no, it's good. Um, yeah, I, I, and you're a constant. You know, you have friends who claim to be your friends yeah. and just drift off because, yeah, they're not happy with your life or you're not as fun. Because you've got a family and they just drift off. Um, yeah, and you've always been there. I can say you've, you've been solid. No. Um, no, I appreciate that. And yeah, I guess I've always wanted to be. And just for context, me and me and MK have been friends for 11, 12 years, um, which yeah. is wild in itself. And yeah, I just wanted you to know that you mean the world to me. You're my very best friend. I mean, sometimes only friend, you know, like I'm a... I don't I don't carry that many people around with me. Um which I hope like you know that that means more to me. You know that friendship it, you know having that friendship it's it feels stronger, you know than just so many segmented little friendships around but no, you do mean the world to me and I love you. I love you man. Get get some champagne. It was very nice that was mine. But yeah. let's just say this is a a platform like it's a talking shop for me and you. Mm -hmm. It's a place to share our feelings, to share our experiences that hopefully people can relate to, mm -hmm. you know, and just it's a place to feel comfortable and for others. Yeah. Just join us and just share things, man. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. I mean, down the years, we've been the worst at kind of opening up with each other. Um, I mean, me more so. You can probably, um, you know, agree with that. Um, but yeah, we just wanted we wanted others to to feel okay with opening up. You know, whether it's an emotional conversation, whether it's a stupid conversation, no matter what. Just just speak to your brothers, man, like, and sisters, and sisters. Yeah, we don't discriminate. The name does, um, but I mean, if you read into it, there's a there's a girl in there somewhere. 
Girls yeah. Cry. Boys Cry too. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, whether, like I said, it can be about anything. It can be about stupid shit. It can be about personal stuff. It can be about your mental health. Um, and there's one thing that we know. It's that, you know, men don't like talking. Um, so this is our platform. Yeah. You're always welcome. Um, you know, if if ever that you need someone to talk to, drop us an email, boys talk cry to podcast at gmail.com. There's always gonna be someone on the end. Yeah, as as like as a jokey introduction as this is, there is a serious tone that hopefully lets people know that yeah, we're always here. So yeah, please get in touch. Dan's just give you the deets. Or leave a comment, you know. Yeah. And that's on any platform, you know, whether whether you're watching this on YouTube, whether you're listening somewhere else, or even if you've stumbled across a clip on social media, TikTok, Instagram, like just just get involved. Drop a message. We're always there. Drop a DM. Um, yeah, we might come across as pieces of shit, but we're there. We're there. Are you done with your question? I'm done. So feel free to put me in the hot seat now. I don't think I've got as many as you. That's well, all right. I feel like I've got a big chest. <laughs> Who's got the bigger chest? You. Because you eat steroids for breakfast. <laughs> and the mind are a bit more flaccid. Flaccid. Right. Okay. Um, let's just start it off light. Okay. Where did you grow up? Where did I grow up? Um, specifics? Yeah, tell us what it was like. Okay, yeah, I I grew up in the Black Country, um, Warsaw to be specific. Um, same, as me. same as you, yeah. We're from the exact same place, but we didn't really connect with each other until later in our teens, um, at, at college, and then we went to uni together. Um, but yeah, I mean, I grew up I grew up on a nice estate. You know, I was fortunate that my parents, um, you know, worked and then worked hard to get their own place. Um, but I very much kind of grew up around council estates and on council estates, you know, with the, the friends that I um, grew up with. Yeah. You can have one beverage for the rest of your life. What drink are you choosing? Okay, now there's this new beverage that we've recently come up with, um, me and you. Right. We, we like to call it the DiCaprio. Um, so I was in Italy recently, um, and a lot, of the, a lot of on the menus were spritzes, um, you know, apérol spritz, limoncello spritz, and it was the limoncello spritz that I was drinking a lot of, um, but it just weren't quite there. Um, so limoncello spritz is prosecco, limoncello, and then soda water. Um, but it just missed a little bit something. Um, something. Exactly, exactly. So Good. when something. When I got home and you were there, um, we decided to open a bottle of champagne again. Maybe we like champagne. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> champagne taste, lemonade budget. Um, and yeah, so instead of putting Prosecco in it, we put champagne in it. So champagne, limoncello, soda water. And we decided to call it the DiCaprio. Delicious. Because it's a little bit... It's oh, fancy wow. as f***. Um, but it's just a... A little bit fruity. Yeah, nice. And that's when that was coined. It's a lady drink. Okay. Taken. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, out of nowhere. Uh, it's so funny, not the snot out of you. Wipe your nose. <laughs> Okay, story time. Um, I was probably in about year seven, um, so just started secondary school, and you know the school bus going to school, coming back from school. Um, that was you know buzzing, you know the kind of atmosphere on the bus. And one day coming back from school, um, lads like a couple of year or couple of years older um, were at the back of the bus watching porn, and I vividly remember um, it was squirting porn, and I'd never seen anything like that before. And then I kind of just put two and two together and I thought, oh, wow, she's doing what I can. <laughs> <laughs> Having a piss. 
<laughs> so yeah, that's what I know. You learn so much on them buses. Yeah, I didn't have the internet, mm. so I didn't know it was a thing for a long time. So you, you didn't know until it happened. Yeah, mm. which is really true. Which is wild to me. I can't imagine how that went down. Like, but I hit it pretty well. Mm. But it was the person I lost my virginity to. Mm. Yeah, and obviously things happened. She started to react a bit funny. You think you put the f happening? What's going on? I'm a killing her. What's going I'm on? Hot. My hands ran the throat a little bit too tight. I freaked out. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I found out. So, that's wild. Right. Mm. Back to seriousness. Okay. Okay. No, was at the arc. No, rain's coming there. All right. Flood's about to happen. He says to you, gives you the choice. Right, mate. We've only got room for one more species. Dogs or cats? You can only pick one. To leave on? One can live. And one can go on the ark. Well, yeah, live and go on the ark. Okay. And you have to get rid of the species. Oh, cats are getting chucked straight overboard. <laughs> no hesitation at all. God, my wife hates you. Yeah, 100%. But there's just aggressive little b for no reason. No reason at all. And you know, I'm I'm, I'm definitely a dog guy. Um, got little Daisy, my little cocker spaniel. Um, and yeah, she's like a daughter to me. So yeah, cats can... Like a daughter. Yep, 100%. There you go. Mm. All right, okay. What's your hobby? What do you do in your spare time? Nice question. Um, See, I put nice ones in as well. Thanks. I mean, I put nice ones in, but it was just how you answered it. Ah, you're rude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, hobby. Um, Jim. I know, I know how it sounds, yeah, 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 but no, yeah, right. gym. Go to the gym, brother. <laughs> Let me see how jacked I am. I know how boring it sounds. This t-shirt, who's that? It's the Antisocial Athletes Club. Where are they based, mate? Uh, they're from Dudley, I think. Oh, Dudley? Um, yeah, sick gear, check them out. But yeah, I mean... <sighs> you've, you've really adopted... The it's gym lifestyle over the past couple of years. Yeah, 100%. I think it's more through um, dealing with mental health stuff. You know, I feel like it's a, an outlet that I need. Um, you know, just being able to go somewhere for two hours, three times, four times a week to just switch off from everything and just, you know, compartmentalize everything. Just put some absolutely disgusting music on. Um you know, the type of stuff that would send small Catholic children to a full-blown psychosis. <laughs> um, Where's the weirdest place you've ever had a wank? Had a wank? Mm. Hmm. Okay, so I went camping at the end of secondary school. Um, so, you know, we had a big boys weekend camping in the middle of I don't know, canic chase or something like that um and you know we got pissed whatever like you do had barbecue food blah, blah, um got hammered obviously um and then the photos and videos of porn we you know we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah we were like bluetooth in <laughs> we're bluetooth in porn i was thinking <laughs> send us our one key yeah don't be the bear with the hairy <laughs> <laughs> is she coming? What's is that? she coming? Um, Don't move my phone key, dude. Infrared. <laughs> yeah, so it took like an hour to like send a porno to some. So yeah, we were like exchanging the singular porno that we had on our phone to each other. Um, and then, yeah, it kind of, we all went to bed. And then, yeah, just watching this porno that someone had just sent me on me on my phone. And Did you ever have a competition? When you were younger? No. Never done any of like soggy biscuit, who can last the longest, no. Yeah. Loads of lads in a sleeping bag. Okay, the fact that you're asking me <laughs> means that you probably have, so... 
Go on. I've heard other people do. What's the story? Go on. If you want to mask it as other people, then... I feel like when lads first like find out about wanking, it's like... Oh, I remember once when um, my mate Craig, as a kid growing up, found a porno tape in his um, kitchen cupboard. It's his parents. Um, he's like, oh, I found a porno tape. Let's go and watch it. Mm-hmm. And we were house sitting for his auntie. So we went down to his house, put it on in the living room. In front of each other? Yeah. I put a cushion. Put a cushion. Did you peek over though? No. You did? Nah. Was it big? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, put your mic cover back on. That's just in your own. Slide on the afro. There we go. Nice. Okay. If you could have any accent for a day, what would it be and why? Any accent. An accent. Um, probably like Southeast Asian, like Vietnamese or something. <laughs> what does that? What would that sound I'm like? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. If you know, you know. Um, it's just an impression. It's an impression. I mean, I can't do. I can't do it. I just embarrass myself. But um, yeah, it's a right. uh, favorite. Let's say. So, I've got kidney cancer. Kidney cancer. Yeah. Okay. What brought this on? Give me a kidney. Oh, you want a kidney? Please. Yeah. Fantastic. See, wasn't hard, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it? We've both got pure smut questions and questions about cancer. She's the ultimate, you know, test of our friendship, man. Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt, if you needed a kidney, you can have one. Okay. Wouldn't think twice. Right, I'm on death row. Okay. All right. Let's say, hypothetically, I've lost my mind. Shot up a school. He's lost his mind. It's already uh, happened. Okay. You've shot up a school. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Shot up a school. Awesome. Equally is questionable. Mm-hmm. Um, hypothetically, of course. And it's my last meal. Um, what would you feed me on death row? No, knowing me. What would be my last man? That is the friendship test. Um, that is a good question. That is a good question. Uh, how many courses? Um, we can have... Just whatever. We can have a main and a dessert. Okay. Prisons are made of money. Uh, so for your main, it would be what we refer to as a kid's dinner. So we're going to have um, potato smiley faces. We're going to have... Uh, turkey dinosaurs, Heinz beans, um, and then a little pot of ketchup. Oh, can I replace the bean? It's got to be mushy peas. Who's doing this meal? Some f- on there. Oh, f- Never had them as a kid. My mum was mental on them. Our friends have crossed the pond. Uh, what MK is referring to here is a. Uh, a, oh, yeah. a meat substance um, that our friends in the north uh, like. Basically, it's this meaty onion. It looks like mm-hmm. shit, um, if we're sticking with that theme. Mm-hmm. Um, which is delicious. Gravy over the top. Quite nice. I said, so what you're saying is the suggestion that I made was absolute garbage and you just want uh, some mushy peas. <laughs> <laughs> and some homemade chips. And some homemade chips, okay. So it turns out I have no idea what you'd fancy in that situation. You I'll give you a square bar for a square. dessert. For old time's sake. Yeah, for old time's sake. Yeah. Yeah. See if you really knew me. Jam, sponge, loads of custard. I ain't got the foggiest thing. <laughs> <idea. laughs> it's because of you, Nick. I just lived on school dinners. Mm. Kids dinners and a, a square bar at midnight. What's my um, favourite genre of music? Country. Hell yeah. Was that one of the questions? Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, it. country. That's it. Um, yeah, I'm all out of questions. 
That's all of them. That was pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there's one more question. There's one more question. Okay. Would you rather watch your parents have sex every day for the rest of your life or join in once to stop it? <laughs> That's f***ing sick, man. Wow. I, uh, I am your parents are watching wow. this. <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd have to listen. There's no way I can join in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. Oh, you're one sick Yeah. And on that note, remember... Always cry too.